It's now 5.30 and we start tonight with this. It's a failure of the coaches, a failure of the students, and a failure of the program. Federal prosecutors have brought corruption charges against basketball coaches at four Division I schools and more could follow. Our Rich Nye explains how the bribery schemes worked. Rich? Well, there are two alleged plots we're talking about, both entangled in the sometimes seedy culture of college basketball recruiting, both using the students to make money, using bribes and fraud. The first alleged scheme the U.S. attorney talked about worked like this. Sports agents, clothing designers, and financial advisors would bribe coaches. Those coaches would then influence their athletes to use those businesses. All of them had the trust of the young players they coached and recruited. Young men who looked up to them and believed that the coaches had their best interest at heart. If the student went pro, it could mean deals worth millions. Coaches at Arizona, Auburn, Oklahoma State, and Southern California were busted in this sting. The bribe coaches showed little regard for the players' well-being. They ignored red flags, seeing only the green of the cash bribes flowing their way. The alleged corruption even went so far as to take bribe money and funnel it to families of the players. As alleged, the coaches affirmatively lied to the players and their families. The second scheme the U.S. attorney said they uncovered involved major business leaders, including several high up at Adidas. Money would be funneled to high school players and their families. That player would then commit to a top school that Adidas sponsored and would sign the sponsorship deals with Adidas when they went pro. These defendants conspired to secretly funnel six-figure payments to the families of three high school players. One of those included a star player for the University of Louisville. Both of these alleged schemes led to 10 arrests and federal charges. The madness of college basketball went well beyond the big dance in March. And among the four coaches named is former Pacer Chuck Person. And the NCAA says it was only aware of this allegation today. And the schools involved released statements using the words shocked, saddened, and surprised. The U.S. attorney and FBI alluded to this not being over yet. They say they are doing more interviews today. They're asking anyone else who was involved to turn yourself in now. And other schools could be involved, too. There's a lot of Adidas schools out there. Right. That's right. You think right. there's going to be more fallout from this in the days to come? Very well could be. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, Rich. Rich.